Hi Air Signs, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those of you cross watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see uh, what are the messages from your special person, okay? So what are they trying to communicate to you but aren't necessarily communicating with you, not right now. So what is it that they want you to know but they don't know how to say it? Oh, I just want to remind you all, this is a general reading, guys, so please just be mindful of that. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video. Look at that, all major arcana cards so far. They're not finished with you yet. This person is not finished with you yet. Okay, this person is a little stubborn. You've got the King of Pentacles. This person is a little stubborn. They're not necessarily communicating with you, but they definitely are trying to connect with you either via telepathy. So they might be sending you tele um, messages via telepathy or they're trying to connect with you energetically, um, emotionally here. They could be trying to communicate to you through dreams. Uh, you might also have experienced a lot of like synchronicities around this person, a lot of repeating numbers, number patterns, a lot of repeating like song lyrics or their name just keeps sort of being mentioned everywhere you go and everywhere you look. So they do, do they have anything to say to you? Yeah, they have a lot to say to you, but they're not communicating this. Okay. It feels like instead of trying to verbally or digitally communicate with you, it feels like they're trying to find other ways to connect and communicate with you. They Okay, so if this is someone whom you're at a separation or a disconnection with, this person wants you to know that they feel like it's not over between the two of you. They feel like the two of you still have unfinished business, okay? They're not done loving you, not just yet. With you, this person felt complete. They felt as though they were ready to start a new phase of their life with you. They felt like they were ready to start, um, you know, a journey with you together. They had, they had pictures, they had visions of you um, growing on together. They had visions of you building a life and building a future together. They also felt you had brought so much change and so much transformation into their life. So this person feels, okay, and they still feel this type, this type of way. They still feel like your destiny, okay, to be with you is their destiny. And, you know, the re there's a reason why the two of you have crossed paths together, is that you were meant for each other. You were meant to be. And this person, even though things may have ended or you may be going through some sort of turbulency, this person thinks that what the two of you have is so strong that it's going to withstand this difficult challenging situation they feel like you're a dream come true they feel as though i mean this is someone who wanted to get married with you this is someone who wanted you know who saw themselves having a whole life with you who wanted this whole the idyllic ten of cups scene with you okay they felt like i mean you met under some fateful circumstances even the way that the two of you met is almost very novelesque is almost very fairy tale like or it's very like it was against all odds it was very um, strange how the two of you met here. Um, there was a lot of travel involved for some of you. I don't know if this is someone whom you've traveled around the world with or you had plans and intentions to travel around the world or this is someone whom you've met overseas whilst you're on your travel but it's possible that the two of you started some sort of or were going to start a, a new life in another country foreign and exotic is coming up with the world card or you might have met online um, this you might have the last communication you've had with this person may have been online um, they're having online or via digital communication they're having a hard time navigating this particular point in their lives especially without you by their side 
Uh, this person has been getting a lot of dreams, a lot of synchronicities, a lot of messages. You guys are, you're very, you're very connected. It's almost like a psychic kind of connection. You guys have been communicating, you guys have been manifesting each other, and I'm seeing that you've been manifesting a reunion and a return to one another. After all, this person feels like you're their destiny, they feel like you're their soulmate, and you know, you don't give up on your soulmates that easy. So even though they are a little bit stubborn, even though they may have a bit of an inflated ego, and that seems to be getting in the way, it they still feel what they feel, and their feelings for you haven't necessarily dissolved here. Um, this person wants to get, you know, they want to be your Prince Charming, uh, and they want to get that fairy tale ending with you. They do. And even though, you know, things aren't necessarily looking all that great for you now, it feels like this person, this person feels like, you know, they want to come back to you or they want you to come back to them. They feel like you are a light in their shining, um, you are shining light in their darkness. They miss you. They miss the little things you used to do. They miss hearing from you. They miss communicating with you. They miss what they had with you. They've never had it with anyone else. Uh, they're doing a lot of wishing. Like They wish they could just pick up their phone and call you. They wish that they could just tell you how much they miss you. They're always wishing that you were like next to them, embracing them here. They wish that they could touch you, they wish that they could feel you, they wish that they could just... They miss everything about you, they miss your everything, they do. And you've been such a big part of their life, look at all these major arcana cards. And even if you haven't known each other for all that long, You've made such a splash, you've made such an impression upon them that, you know, you've been such a big part of their life. You, you truly are something very special to them. And what the two of you had is truly something special. And to me, it feels like this person is trying to, they're trying to figure it out. They're trying to figure some things out with the Seven of Pentacles. They've been waiting to hear from you. It feels like this person is... I think they're too stubborn to reach out, but at the same time, they want to hear from you. So they kind of want you to, they kind of want you to initiate the conversation, initiate communication. Like you've always been such a big part of their life and now the two of you have stopped talking or you're going through whatever it is that you're going through. They feel so incomplete without you. They're definitely missing you a lot. I don't know if this person has communicated with you and they're waiting to hear your response. It feels like this person is waiting to hear from you or this this person is waiting to contact you. This person is waiting to for the right time to reach out, to connect with you. Because they know what they want, and it's you. But you know what's really getting in the way here is this, their pride, their ego. Okay, your ego is not your amigo. And it's their ego that's getting in the way here. It's their, they feel, maybe you are the one to have ended things with this person. And they feel slightly defeated in some way. And if they were the ones to reach out or initiate communication first. They, they feel like a sense of loss, a sense of defeat. The thing is, they are waiting, but they can't wait to hear from you, is another message that I get. But I just hope that this person doesn't wait until it's too late, right? Because I think that what you have is something very special. And look... Did it have its complexities? Yes. Did it have its challenges? Yes. Did it have its turbulences? Yes, yes. But, you know, 
happiness is a balance of ups and downs and it's how you navigate the ups and downs in life and I think what the two of you had was something very special what the two of you still have is something very special hopefully the two of you will come together to cooperate and you know you will be able to navigate the complexities or the emotional territories of this connection because yeah this person is waiting or you're waiting but for how long they're also waiting to hear from you online or they also wait to for them even though they're not communicating with you verbally here I feel like this person is they wait they still have you on social media okay whether you're aware of it or not they watch your story so they wait until you post something because that's their way of feeling connected with you you know staying connected with you so I get that they're waiting they're waiting to hear from you or they're waiting to hear about you they're waiting until you post your next you know photo or story here they're also waiting until you know they get this their fairy tale ending with you all right guys so these are your messages thanks so much for watching and listening please share support by liking sharing subscribing to the channel bye